When he smiles, the girls went wild with who's and us. Hercules. Hey guys, this is Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and today I am doing an incredible Blu-ray review. Hercules. Finally, finally, Hercules has been released on Blu-ray, and I'm really excited about it. I Hercules is one of my favorite Disney movies. It, it really means a lot to me. Hercules was really the predecessor of having pop culture references in animated films. Yes, Aladdin had it to an extent, but I think Hercules really owns it. And people say this dates the film, but I actually think this really makes the film. I think the references are hilarious. Hey, Mac. Want to buy a sundial? I love it. I laugh every time I see this movie. I still think this movie holds up. I love the characters. I love Hercules. He's really awkward. He's unsure about himself, but he has so much greatness and potential in him that you just want to root for him. He's just such a different Disney hero. I love all the characters in Hercules. Pain and Panic, Hades, Zeus, Megara, Meg, my little nut. Meg. I'm surprised Megara doesn't get as much attention nowadays as she deserves because she really is a very headstrong female in, in a very much good way. Um, but she's she's not an official Disney princess, even though Megara totally was a princess in the original Greek and Roman mythology. Uh, that's cool. So for those of you who don't know, Hercules tells the story of the son of Zeus, who is a god who lives on Mount Olympus. Hercules one day is stolen by Hades, who wants to take over Zeus's throne, and he makes him, you know, semi-mortal. He becomes a demigod, and as a result, Zeus's hands are tied. He can't do anything to get Hercules to come back to restore his godhood. Hercules has to do that himself. So Hercules, as he gets a little older and he's in his awkward teenage years, he discovers his true identity as, you know, this potential to become a god and then he goes on a path to become a true hero. And the movie is so good. Look, I'm getting goosebumps right now because I just love Hercules. And the songs in this movie are great. They really played up the Greek chorus that was famous in a lot of Greek tragedies and plays. And the Greek chorus really holds it throughout. So thumbs up for the music, thumbs up for the story. I'm a little bit baffled at why Disney seems to ignore this movie altogether. Uh, largely, they just kind of ignore the fact that it exists. And that is true of the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray really has nothing to offer. There's no new bonus or special features. It's just the old stuff repackaged, but at least we get it in HD. Um, for the most part, the HD conversion is really good. There are some, you know, macro blocking and, and a few issues, but that's really only if you're really, really keen, you're gonna notice it. Otherwise, you're gonna be like, this is great. So there are only three bonus features on here, which is a shame. Uh, they're from the original DVD release. Uh, one is the making of Hercules, which is a thumbs up. I'm always glad to watch those. The next one is really bizarre and don't understand it at all. It is a music video. Yay! But no, because it's Ricky Martin singing No Importa La Distancia. What? Where is Michael Bolton? Wasn't he like the big thing? Like this is so bizarre. This is an English Blu-ray release and yes I know it has other languages but why the Spanish version? Why not the English version? I don't know if they couldn't get the rights but then again this is Disney's song and they shot the music video so whatever. I don't know. And then the last bonus feature is really frustrating. It's a Zero to Hero sing-along. So it's basically the song Zero to Hero, and it's just basically a sing-along. It has the words on the bottom. And the problem is this is taken from the original DVD release, so it's not in HD, and it's really ugly to watch for the most part. And I, I'm, I'm a bit confused because other Blu-ray releases that came out this exact same day, like Bedknobs and Broomsticks, um, have the option of a sing-along version, meaning you can watch it with words when the songs come up, or you can choose to watch the songs individually. I don't know why Disney didn't do this. You could have hired an intern for an hour to put the subtitles in the movie and make a little bonus feature. Yes, I know it would have taken a little bit more effort than that, but really. You know, you could have just done this for all the songs and make it like a little bit more robust bonus feature, but again, it's just kind of rubbing it in Hercules' face yet again. We don't care about you. Sorry. Okay, so all in all, I give the movie four and a half stars. I simply love Hercules. Yes, I know it's not perfect, but it's one that always makes me laugh. It's one where I always have a good time. So I love Hercules, four and a half. And the bonus features, uh, two stars. I, I don't get the Spanish bonus feature. Why? I, I would get it if the English one was there, but it's not. The Zero to Hero sing-along is a little bit frustrating because it's so blurry. And the making of Hercules, 
Good. Alright guys, thanks for watching my review of the Hercules Blu-ray. I love this. I definitely think you should buy it, but I want to know what you think. If you own this, let me know in the comments below what you think about it. And if you don't own it, let me know what Blu-ray feature you would have liked to have seen on there. Till next time, I'm Morgan, and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you want to catch more Rotoscopers, be sure to subscribe right here for more amazing Blu-ray reviews. And actually, there's one right here. Check it out. So it's basically the song, Zero to Hero. Who put the gladi gladiator? Ooh, off tune. Who put the gladi gladiator? Ugh, still off tune. Um, so it's Zero to Hero. Who put the gladi gladiator? I can't hit those notes. Oh my gosh. Bloopers. Total bloopers. <laughs>